Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome to Deceased Craft. Um, apparently third person cam is weird and does this. I, I, I was trying to get like a nice shot for my intro, but they gave me that, so I guess it'll work. Um, um, uh, I need to find a warmer biome, probably over here. It looks significantly warmer. Is that already a city? Anyway, anyway, I, I'm digressing. Uh, intro. <laughs> God, I got caught up in the fact that I was in a biome I didn't want to be in. Um, so, what this is, is this is a zombie apocalypse mod pack. It looks like it actually does everything that I, w that I wanted in a zombie apocalypse. Or mod pack, rather. It's also got park cool in here so I can run faster. Which is interesting. So apparently I also got like skills and quest book and stuff. Less pains. Is this. Also got a bunch of structures. And apparently all of them have compatibility with just about every mod in here. This is cold. This is a okay-ish house. I don't think I want to live in the city. Cobbled spider? Hold on, is, can we not get cobblestone in this? Okay, we need to get cobbled spider. Alright, so there's... going to be a bit of a learning curve to this already. So it seems that there's going to be a lot of different zombie types from what I, what I have seen. I heard about this pack, I checked it out, and I was just like, it actually has, like, proper structure spawning. It actually looks good. Because that's one of the biggest things that most, uh, most zombie mod packs and mods just don't get. Is, like, a good, solid, uh, way to generate structures. Gotta build my way up. There we go. They're trying to do a parkour trick over there. Alright, so what do we have? I can't zoom, apparently. I don't know what the zoom is. There's a car here. It's already at a gas station, so maybe I can fuel that up and actually get a car right off the bat? That'd be amazing. Got sweet rolls. Plenty of food. Let me access... I can't access that. X marks the spot. Oh, there's a looter chest? These do not look like looter chests. Oh, that's a fucking spawner. Kill that. Torches, hell yes. And books might be useful? I don't know. <laughs> I can ring the bell. As you all should be doing after subscribing. <laughs> seamless. Seamless little, uh... Potion there. Anyway. Thing I never do does it randomly. <laughs> Come on. I wish I had a sword right now. Ooh, some iron. Hell yes. Explorer's compass. Explorer's compass do. Oh, that's useful. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Ammo, money, torches, glowstone, or torches, rubber. Really useful. I thought was a backpack mod in here. I'm gonna have to. Is it sophisticated? Hold on. I really hope it's it's sophisticated. Yes. Okay. That'll be that makes crafting them infinitely easier. Well, I wonder if there's like a special way to craft leather. Oh, you can get it through some. Oh, oh, it's that mod. Okay, okay, that I can work with. That I can work with well. I uh, would like a gun. Okay, first off, here's my question: Is this a working car? Transporter has type biodiesel. Fuck. I need to find one of these that has diesel. I don't know. Maybe it'll take gasoline. I'm gonna fuel this fucker up and try to drive it. How do I drive in this mod? I don't know how this car mod works, so this is going to be a bit of a learning curve. 
Oh my god, it drives. Hell yes. I gotta go first person, because third person currently sucks. Okay, what I'm thinking... ...is, for now, we live in this area. I think this car has kind of decided our fate a little bit. At least for a small amount of time. No, actually, let's just live in the gas station. What could go wrong? Turn off the car so we don't accidentally kill it. Get rid of some of these bushes so we can actually fucking get through here. Because apparently, apparently this car could fit through that other gap, but it can't fit through this one. There it goes. Okay, it takes a, it takes a little bit of a rev. Get this fucker going. Oh my god, I cannot drive this in third person. This, The camera feels off. I don't know how to describe it. But I am going to shove some of the loot in here because there's. That's currently a better storage than most things I have. So, what I'm thinking is for now, we stay here. I have to steal a bed from one of these houses. Um, I wish I had a weapon. Actually, I have tons of iron. Hold on. Knock down a tree. I'm pretty sure there's like some kind of tree shot mod. But I need an actual axe. I should see if that gas station has a crafting table. I don't have to wait for that. For now, I think we're going to live in this little cul-de-sac and just raid everything. Alright. Now, for the other issue. So I do know... that the zombies can basically one-tap me. I'm going to fully acknowledge that. That's some vodka. No, my pickaxe! You son of a bitch. Luckily, I don't think there's another spawner in here. I'm gonna sleep real quick. Actually, this is a cleared house. Maybe I should stay here instead. This here looks like a pretty good place. Aqua Dashers? I love the word walk on fluids while sprinting. Amateur archaeologist. What the fuck did I just hear? You want to run that one by me again? What is that sound? It's very concerning. I'm afraid to go outside right now. There's on all sides of this. Maybe I can see it from here. I don't see it. Did it spawn on the roof? There's a bee! There's just a bee! Why do I hear something, but I don't see something? I'm concerned. Okay, what we're doing. What the fuck are you? Oh, you fucking belt shit out, don't you? You ugly motherfucker. Wait. There we go. That ugly fucker's dead. What I'm thinking is. Already has like a fence around it. Maybe I can fortify this area. Lucky I can get some barbed wire. Speaking, is there barbed wire on top of the building? Oh, hello. What mod does that? What's up that slash? 
Wait, is there a physics mod? Oh god, there's the physics mod. <laughs> oh wait, I know what I should do. Make a... Make an axe. That'd be smart. Make an iron axe real quick. See if it actually does... Yep, it decapitates. And fucking planted the tree, nice. Anything useful in this? No. Just for sending posts, I guess. Yeah, looted this house. I'm kind of worried about going in. Right, there we go. Just saying, I know, I know I just heard a zombie. Where the fuck is it? Oh shit. Fight me. Armor? Mmm, that's a problem. <laughs> Did I just chop the fence head off? Okay, so I did chop that things out of. That's fucking. All right. Um. So, get into my car. No, oh, you're out. Oh. What's with everything being a hustle? Did they decide not to install the mod that makes it so the zombies don't burn during the day? And instead, it's just husks spawning everywhere. So yeah, as you can see, there's like create bits spawned all around. As well as a number of other mods stuff. Very interesting. Where is the entrance to this house? I don't want to break into the fence. It would just be a waste of time. Killing the spawner, on the other hand, is not. Gate displays and stuff. I really like the look of these houses, actually. These are really cool. I want to know how they did the cities. It's like a custom uh, Lost Cities. So I know you can, like, customize cities, but I don't, I don't know you can customize them until this. Which, this is an amazing customization. I think all this is done in like 1.18. Yeah. How do you. <laughs> it's fucking entrance spawned on the edge. Well, it's called living life on the edge for sure, right there. I actually have to bust into that one. I do want to loot all these houses. So you never know what I'm going to get. Also, I'm getting a lot of food. And water. And god, my character is cold. <laughs> what are the odds that one of these houses actually has a normal furnace? Actually, does the house I've decided to live in have a furnace? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move my car. Away from the gas station. Pretty sure, yeah. I've messed with this car mod before. I'll live here for now. Try and fortify it a bit. In case of hordes. I think this is just outside the city enough that I won't get too many zombies. At least I hope. I'm also going to try to keep track of time of day. For obvious reasons. Alright, come on. Kill the spawner. Spawner has been murked. Oh, hey, these are drinks. Apple cider. Damn, that's good. And it gives me absorption. That's awesome. Why is there raw bacon in this drawer? Bro's just chilling in his 
bedroom eating bacon while he's doing eating raw bacon while he's doing his taxes and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna start shoving up into the uh, fridge area. I'm gonna be living here a while. I might as well. We're gonna sleep. So we don't get a bunch of zombies. And I'm thinking I fortify the fuck out of this house and just... For as long as I can manage. I'm gonna place more torches though, because it feels dark as shit in here. There are lights that just aren't on. I know it does have like crayfish for it. That's got plenty of light. Also, I just realized I had shaders on it. Did they turn off? There we go, that looks better. Remember, it's a little choppy. But that's normal for when you first activate shaders. Die, you bastard. Let's see if I can find a single, like, you know, actual furnace. That if I can't, I'm just. Try and make one. Okay. Not an actual door. I don't know where the hell that fucker went. Okay, let's hope that we don't run into this thing I ran into while I was testing this. Apparently there's these houses that are just filled with zombies and you have to clear them out. Doesn't trigger anything. Does this trigger anything? No? I can't seem to fucking find the entrance to these places. This one's entrance apparently spawned there, so it's not even enterable. I guess I'll just have to break through. No side entrances. Die, you bastard. Kill that thing. Okay, what did I get? I got a high vis vest, fire protection. Apparently better than the leather tunic. So I guess I'll put it on. There's a roast chicken. I need to find some bull. Make some. Stone cutter and a grindstone. A hearth. I think I'll take that. Just for actually keeping me warm. Considering apparently this entire place is in a cold biome, that's probably gonna come in handy. Oh, hello, diamond. Iron helmet. Scissors. Bandages. Torches. I need to go make actual storage at my house. I also need to remember that these are looter chests. Is that an otter? There's an otter. Oh god, I forgot. Because of the mod. One of the mods. There we go. Yeah, you can climb those. Ow. Don't infect me. Okay, that is so much better. Than what it could have been. The way you swing an axe now is actually a slash. That is so much more useful than normal axe swings. Alright, since it's a looter chest, chuck this on the floor. Take the paper. If I'm alone in this world, I'm just gonna break the damn chest. Actually, I'm pretty sure this chalk is like to mark buildings. Actually, I'm gonna take the red one and mark what I've gone in.
the heart from there. I'm gonna mark with red. The building's already gone into. There we go. I even. Okay, so you can put arrows and you can put dots. I'm gonna put red dot if I've already gone in it. Just to remind myself, hey, it's already been looted. Yeah, and I'll probably put like a blue uh, chalk bit later on the house that I'm living in. Alright, let's see. How are we doing on thirst and hunger? We're actually doing really good on thirst. Uh, do I have a quest book? Probably actually look into the quest book. Start at the end. Uh, despite the cure being identified, its creation comes too late for the inhabitants of this post-apocalyptic world. Uh, venture out, establish a secure base, survive amidst the aftermath of the zombie apocalypse. If you've just started a new world, you will have one day of safety where no zombies will spawn. Use it well. Yeah, I'm a little delayed in reading that, but here we are, baseball. And also, I've realized we're actually out of time for this video. So, I guess this is where we're left at. So, I hope everyone has enjoyed. If you're still in the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot the lamp, shoot the like button. Oh, dead, 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 dead. I'm forgetting my own outro. Sorry, guys, I'm having a stroke in the middle of the in, in, in the middle of the outro. There we go. Everyone has enjoyed. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in this video, live stream, or whatever next. Peace, guys.